for new business 4D, we have one more communication dated August 27th from Barbara Lively, who is a legislative assistant in District 4, regarding a proposed code amendment of Chapter 2, Article 15, Code of Ethics, and a review of bill introduced by Council Member Eileen O'Hara. Do we have any motion there to file the communication? Or any other motion? Well, again, let's start with motion to file, and we can always close with that. I move to file. Second. All right. <laughs> Any discussion? I don't know. We could just send a letter saying that's a policy decision. Uh, but I would like to say that if they do enact this, that they should provide a definition as to what is accurate and factual information. I don't. I, I don't know. The way it's described here is Chapter Two. I'm looking at the Code of Ethics which has sections to, and it's Article 15. And then she says, uh, Chapter 2, Article 15, Code of Ethics. So is, uh, I'd ask uh, legal counsel, is Article 15 within Chapter 2 of something? The, the way the uh, Code of Ethics I'm looking at, it's Article 15, Code of Ethics, and then Section 2 dash so on and so on. Mm -hmm. uh, so my question is, where well, she's, uh, Saying code amendment to chapter two. Right. Article 15. So this is in article 15, correct? Yes. Okay. So she's basically just trying to add. It's uh, actually section two, uh, uh, it should be section two, article 15. Uh, That's the way the codes are uh, listed. Section right. 279 through. Uh, no. You're uh, correct. It is section two, article 15. Yes. All right. And if that's the case, uh, there's no. There's no indication within those many pages what they want to amend or what's proposed amendment. So on, on the second page, there's the, a draft of a bill that the council is considering. And they're, they're, they're basically proposing to yeah, add the underlying portion on, on section four. I don't, I don't have that, but why don't you just go ahead and explain yeah, it? It's in the. What? I'll show you. Oh. The second page. No, somehow I don't have that. Emily. Mm. If you look at this code 283, they put it right there. That gives you maybe a bigger picture of it if you look at it that way. Mm -hmm. I'd like to comment in that. So it's under the fair treatment <laughs> section. Right? And it's saying okay. all officers and employees shall adhere to these precepts. Uh, I have that. Okay. Is this what the amendment? Uh, you know, and it says she'll provide accurate. Well, I don't know. I mean, you may honestly believe something to be true and accurate when it may not factually be accurate. I, I but I don't know if we should wade into a policy discussion here. Uh, my advice is to say that it's a policy question. We only ask that you look at the definition section in that section and see if you might not provide. Well, I don't know. I Personally, I have problems. But I don't know if it's really for us to be, you know, I'm not the policy maker. I don't know what to do. I would uh, suggest that we acknowledge the receipt of it. And... That's, but it is, it, it is a, it is policy, and this is for the council. Right. And maybe we just respond that way. So just as a note, I didn't attend the last council meeting, but what I was informed was, was that um, um, the council member specifically mentioned on the record that this matter, this bill was being referred to the board this Board of Ethics for review and comment. So just so you know that. Oh, so well, wouldn't we need a formal letter from the <laughs> clerk or the chair saying that we're submitting this? So, I, yeah, well, you, that would be better. But then this is what happened, basically. They, her, uh, her staff emailed this to me and asked this to be um, reviewed by the board. So that... I, I was told that's the representation that was made, just so the board is okay. aware. I, I like the catch-all to the best of uh, ability, the employee's ability and knowledge. That's good. But I, I do have a, 
I shared a concern of the word accurate. Mm -hmm. You know, that we can go to a thesaurus and find something that will serve the same purpose and be less demanding. That's a very demanding term, accurate. Yeah. And then I would also have a suggestion for uh, that they include another word in number three, okay. which oh. would be, uh, <laughs> could, all persons shall be treated in a courteous, fair, and impartial manner, and with dignity. And with what? Dignity. 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 Yeah, but is it uh, in a dig dignified yeah. manner. Aren't the first four or three items already in the charter? Isn't that? Yes. So yes. they're just they just want to add number four. So we're not really asked to rule anything on three. I think they're asking for our opinion in general, um, and so if we have an opinion on three, I don't think there's any problem with us forwarding that opinion yeah. to them. You know, then it's up to them to figure out if that's what they want or not. I really like that dignity part to me. It and spells it aloha, yeah. you know, which is what we're all about. So whether it's dignified, you know, adding dignified in there or and with dignity. Yeah. Um, I, in a dignified yeah. manner. Yeah. Yeah. Or respectful, would that be, would that work? Respectful manner? Yeah. I like dignity. Yeah. dignity. I like both, yeah. respectful and dignified. But I'd say in a courteous, fair, and impartial manner with, well, I, you know, I think we it's fine if we want to throw that in. They ask for our opinion. We can give any answer back we want. Yeah. So. And then perhaps as far as number four is concerned, taking out the accurate and just keeping the factual because, you know, I mean, Technically, you could say if it's factual, then it should be accurate as well. <laughs> uh, it should be honest. Right. I think, so, I mean, what, what, are, what are they trying to get at, right? Someone goes, say, to a department, and the person doesn't tell them everything they should know, right? Is it complete, right? Mm -hmm. Or... Uh, you, they're not they're actually lying, right? Would all that actually be covered by fair in number three? I mean, I, I, I don't know. I just wonder, I just have trouble how, because we're the ones that are going to have to define what is accurate and factual to the best of their abilities and knowledge. Well, he should have known this. I, I don't know. I, I think Really what we're trying to do is that everyone is fair and does the best job in serving the public that they can, not, you know, taking any favorites or that's really what we're getting at. I, I'd, I, but again, I, my advice is we send a letter saying thank you, it's a policy decision, and then maybe if anything add, we are concerned, however, regarding the interpretation and would seek guidance on what is meant by, just quote it, provide accurate factual information to the best of each officer's ability. Or, I don't know. That's my two cents. Sorry for being so long-winded today. Um, I, I, I really like your suggestion about the complete and factual information because I know that that has been an issue with people going to county and not getting all the information and then they're halfway through the project and oh we we weren't told that part, you know, kind of thing. So I mean I first from personal experience and from, you know, social media and all of that and even to a certain extent a little bit here as well over the years. But I think that the part about the complete I, I really like to and versus accurate if we put complete and factual. So if you're gonna draft a letter that I would I would like to uh, include, if it's all right with everybody, the dignified part of it in, in the number three, and complete and factual in um, the other one, um, just so that, it, that that's very clear to the officers and employees that when somebody comes, that, you know, the entire scenarios are explained. Right, complete uh, also sort of implies an accurate statement. Yes, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, if so, what I am hearing is that uh, there may be a motion then to I, send a communication. I'll, I'll make a motion. Okay. All right. I make a motion that uh, 
with respect to the amendment sent to us by the council uh, that we we approve uh, we approve section the amend amended we approve the amendment to section four or item four a four of section two of article fifteen with respect subject to a change in lieu of the word accurate that we use the word complete. And I would, uh, and on a further note, we would make a suggestion that the uh, item number three, uh, remove the word and, put a, uh, and after impartial manner, place the uh, words in a dignified manner. Do we have a second? Sorry, it should, it should be end in a dignified manner. Yeah. Um, I'll second that motion. Um, any further discussion? So from a... Oh, sorry. From a... Can I say, not second? Yeah, n normally you wouldn't second the motion, but but anyway, um, as far as dignified, then so there is no definition for dignified in the code. Is that something the board wants to? Because the board will be, if this passes, the board will be charged with interpreting this section. So I just want to make sure that if if the board is comfortable in the way it is right now, then that's well, we would use a common application okay. of it. My question is that um, what Schweizman has proposed doesn't seem to fit. It, it, the wording is, isn't quite, doesn't jive. Now, maybe I've got my green eye sh shade on <laughs> this morning, but um, can you read us, read to us how yeah. you really want it to read, please? All right. I would suggest that number three be changed to read, all persons shall be treated in a courteous, fair, and impartial manner, manner and in a dignified could I make a suggestion impartial and dignified manner, manner perhaps yes. how about all persons shall be treated with dignity in a courteous fair and impartial manner Good. That would work. not that I, I'm gonna vote for it by the way <laughs> I'm not sure because I, I have trouble with number four I, I, I I'm thinking but I'm not sure yet thank you I, I would amend my motion to uh, use in that language in lieu of mine with respect to the suggested number three change. Yeah. All persons shall be treated with dignity in a courteous, fair, and impartial manner. Yeah. Um, okay, so what I'm hearing is that uh, we may have an issue with four, but not with three. Um, I can, if we don't have any further discussion, we can, um, no. I can call for the vote, and then we will see where, where we're at after that. Uh, oh, go ahead. Since we're yes. exchanging our feelings about this, I, I don't see any reason to take out accurate in number four. Why, why can't we just say complete, accurate, and factual information to the public? Why, why do we have to take out accurate? Okay. No, no uh, I mean, personally, I'm kind of against both because what is complete. I mean, we're talking, so the guy goes in for a road variance and or something, right? And the guy says, okay, you got to do this, this, and that. And then, um, you know, he goes back and then later finds out he needs a water variance. And, well, why didn't you tell me I needed a water variance? Well, you asked about the road variance. I think it's opening up a Pandera's box. The, the bottom line is people should be treated fairly and courteously. And that goes without saying that the public official is not going to lie, is not going to purposely mislead or withhold information that's needed. I, I, I can see putting it in there for the effect of just stating it. I, I grant you that. But I, I think defining what's accurate, complete, fair, to the person's understanding at the time the advice was given, I, I, I think that needs to be tightened up personally. But my feeling is it is policy, and that should be the council. And I, I, Sorry, I'm blabbering again. Thank you. No, 
excuse me, but I'm, you know, I just think complete open does open it up because, you know, but accurate, I mean, I'm thinking about financial uh, information, and I think accuracy is very important. I think that is an ethical issue, and it could come up in terms of budgets and, and uh, that sort of thing. I think I'd like to keep the accurate. <coughs> if you want to drop the complete, I'm happy with that, too. But I see no reason why we can't have both. The, the problem I have with accurate, too, is, okay, let's say someone calls, oh, can I get my tax assessment? I lost the bill or whatever. And the clerk accidentally transposes two numbers, right, makes a mistake. Now, that person could sue or file a complaint, I mean, through the, the but was that an ethics violation? I, I, I don't know. I, I have more questions than answers at this point. But again, this is a policy call, so I'm not going to go there. I just ask it be clear. Okay. Yeah, right, we're, we're just uh, offering an opinion on this. Yeah. If you look through the uh, four items there uh, under Section 2, uh, there's nothing in there that uh, deals with giving someone information. It's just treatment, et cetera. Uh, so perhaps uh, they have a good reason for putting something like that in there, that if you're going to be dealing with someone that you provide them factual information. Uh, I, I maintain uh, opposition to the word accurate because it implies it, it implies that it, it almost is on the borderline of a legal definition of a legal uh, Pandora's box. So I'm, I'm sort of against that, but the uh, we could just uh, take out accurate and just leave it as without any adjective, just the factual information. But the people who who are proposed who are proposing this to the council or who have previously approved it apparently had some basis for thinking that it would be important to stress this. And I think um, a bookkeeper, um, you know, anybody who is charged with dispensing inv information to the public should be reminded constantly that they are responsible for providing complete accurate um, and factual, inf or, or complete, accurate, factual information. You can even take the ad and out. But um, I think some, some public employees do, they get rushed or they're negligent or they're waiting to go to lunch and they don't give you the whole facts. And I have suffered from this and they have given inaccurate information. And I think it, it, you know, it doesn't hurt for us to come through and on the side of saying it, it, it's a, an expected service. So uh, I, as far as a friendly amendment. <laughs> you could move to amend it. It might get voted yeah. down, or you could just go it forward with the way it is. Accurate, uh, you know, it, it opens up a Legal, legal challenge. If someone has a two instead of a three that was innocently put in there, I'm going to challenge it. You, you didn't give me accurate information because you said two dollars instead of three dollars, even though it was an innocent mistake. It, it opens the door for challenges. Not, not to say that the others don't, but not to the degree that an accurate <coughs> statement, it, it's like a CPA statement, it must be accurate. Uh, but less than that. So, I mean, uh, the same uh, purpose can be accomplished by uh, completing factual. Uh, if you want to put something in there in lieu of accurate, you can always put uh, uh, honest. But that that's, that's sort of vague, too. Uh, I don't know. But so anyway, I'm, I maintain on my motion. Okay. Okay, all in favor uh, of um, approving... Our latest motion say aye. 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 So we have anybody opposed? Me. Okay. So we have two opposed and two forward, so the motion does not carry. Okay. So we just file. I move the, that we write a letter and state that it's a policy matter and we leave it to the council, though we request that 
uh, any definition that the, you consider providing definitions for interpretation and just and leave it at that in a second either that we don't even write back I guess I, I would amend that but uh, again second uh, to uh, suggest a, uh, a different word than accurate if we're not going to but then then that defeats the purpose yeah Having, having, been, withdraw that. having served in public public places, libraries and such, um, ac I, I, as a bookkeeper and a record keeper, I think accuracy is very important. And I think that as, a, as an ethics advisory board, it behooves us to stress that, that accuracy is a, an ethical issue if you choose not to be accurate, if you choose to fudge the numbers, that's a violation of ethics, not, um, and completeness, that's more vague uh, to me, but com I don't object to that. But, but I, I really think it's important for everyone to keep in mind that accuracy is, is a matter of honesty in some cases. So just to go back, we have a motion, but I'm not too sure if it was seconded. No, it wasn't. It wasn't, right? Well, so was my motion is we just respond back saying thank you. Uh, you're, this is a policy call that, is, that the council can make. We only ask that if they, uh, that the that, uh, guidance be provided regarding definitions used in the amendment. Okay. So do we hear a second for that? I, I still have a. Uh, I, I still have a problem with the word accurate. Here's the definition of accurate: correct, precise, exact, right, ever free, yeah, that's crazy. perfect. It's crazy. And in <laughs> dealing with government government standards, although I I agree with Nan, that they should reach that level or strive for that level. It's very rarely achieved. I'm going to then, I mean, the other option is, which goes against my what I just said, why I was voting not to be involved in the policy decision, but we could say, as written, we do not support, given concerns over definitions and uh, given concern over the word accurate and the lack of other definitions. Yes, but ac ac accurate is not... Um Normally construed to mean perfect, but it would, it would be if there's no definition and we had to. Yeah. Well, we'd have to have a definition, but so, but it doesn't ordinarily take a, a assert perfection. And in my experience, well, so so in this in this case now, a we have a motion. We still don't have a second, and basically all we're asking is that they will define right clearly define. Um, whatever they mean by these and the then, terms used, yeah, that, yeah. by the terms that are being used currently, and remember, which include accurate. Don't dismiss the uh, catch-all language to the yeah. best of each employee's abilities and knowledge. knowledge. Yeah. So that, that puts that. an obligation there yeah. to yeah. come up with everything that they know about. Yeah. Um, so do we have a second for the latest motion? Which was? Cause which, well, uh, yeah, are we going with we're not supporting? I prefer my uh, the motion that I thought is pending, that we, it's, we write a letter back thanking them, stating that it's a policy call. We only ask as the body to interpret any amendments that uh, the terms be clearly defined. And we could put including but not limited to accurate uh, if you want to, but I don't have that. I'm just saying that it'd be clearly defined. So that would be the motion. Do I hear a second? Okay, for the purpose of discussion, I'm going to second it. Do we have any discussion? If not, I'll call for the question. Uh, oh. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, I could go along with that motion. However, uh, I would like to add the def with respect to the definition to be defined, in particular, the word accurate. Good, okay. I will support right. that. Okay, so, so we could we do uh, have a friendly amendment to uh, that <laughs> motion? Is the person who seconded or, or in, in agreement with that? Okay. I support it. I think that's a good suggestion. That's all right. There'll be three against. So we, yeah. we, we I, ask I, that I, the I, 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 they're asking us 
as an ethics body yeah. to to um, you know. No. If they if they left it in, then the accurate would be in there. Yeah. It would just be a definition that they would provide. Yeah. So at this point, we're not we're not suggesting any changes to the uh, as as presented here, but we are asking for definitions for each of the words specifically accurate. Um, uh, we're stating we we're taking no position yeah. on the substantive because it's a policy call for the call council. Here. All right. Any further discussion? Um, uh, council. <laughs> yes. Okay. So I just want to make sure. So the motion is to s ask for a, a definition of accurate. That's well, just send a letter back thanking them for uh, our for you know for their request and stating that uh, as uh, regarding the substance the substance of uh, the amendment, we defer to the council being the policy making body. However, we do request guidance regarding the definition of the terms used in the amendment, in particular, the word accurate. Okay. Are you leaving out any reference to item three? Yeah. yeah. At we're this point, <coughs> we're, not, we're not making any changes to the uh, ordinance amending. That could be amendment, a second motion. Uh, at this point in time. Right, because that with first motion, motion failed, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. With this motion, no amendments, just definition, specifically uh, uh, right. accurate. I move for the questions. Yeah, uh, could I say including, in, including but not limited to the term accurate, okay. just so they don't think, oh, yeah. that's the only problem. Okay. I'm also okay. wondering about this other. Well, thank yeah. you. Okay. So, so okay. So, uh, okay. So the we're deferring. So we're not commenting on on this. Okay. Other other than to uh, request a definition. <laughs> so the board is okay with. Well, not okay. It's it's deferring, without comment as to the. Yes. Okay, just so it's clear, because then this is going to be in a letter from the chair to the to the council member. Okay. All in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Oh no. And then. you got three. I would like to make. but you got to record it. Oh, oh, oh! Yes, no. Okay, so we have three ayes and one nay. Sorry. Uh, the motion is carried. Uh, yeah. Uh, Sorry. Turning attention to the uh, item three, I, I would move that uh, just a, a short uh, suggestion that that item three be uh, be amended to read that. Uh, what was that can that language? All in? persons shall be treated with dignity in a courteous, fair, and impartial manner. Yes. Do I have a second on that? Second. Uh, just okay. to clarify, and I, uh, this isn't. In, this is just. Uh, right, we're asking that they consider yeah. a code yeah. amendment. Yeah. So it'd be a separate letter or in the same letter. Same. I would. I would think the same letter would be okay. Yeah. Same. Same letter be fine. Just, just well, my so only issue okay. with that is now, are we taking a substantive position? So I, I can it, vote no, and the three of you can yeah. vote yes. F friendly suggestion <laughs> is what I would I would consider. It, right. You know, okay. So any further? So just yes. just as an FYI, so just as a quick um, word search, dignity. dignity is the state of the state or quality of being worthy of honor or respect. Yeah. So that's the common definition that I quickly pulled up, right? Yeah. So just that we know what we're yeah. suggesting, yeah. because this board will be charged if passed to interpret that. Yeah. So as long as if the board's okay with yeah. that, then that's where yes. we're going to go. And I think respect was mentioned earlier. Is it similar? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, any further discussion? No. Calling for the question. All in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. So, no. we have one opposed and three ayes, which means the motion is carried. Um, I, I, I have one, one detailed motion. I would also make a motion that uh, the item three as Ken suggested, being a separate letter. I would oh. prefer that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Just uh, say that the Board of Ethics reviewing the the uh, Section 15, Section 283, would like to request that this be added. Yeah, because it wouldn't be consistent with... Okay. Uh, so, so it's a motion... It'd just be a separate letter. Okay, yeah, so we don't have to letter. vote no. on it. I'm, I'm okay with that as well. That's administrative, yeah. yeah. Thank you. I don't think we need a... Uh, 
unofficial motion. Okay, uh, regarding to the you filing of the communication. Can you send it uh, one week later? Nah, <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's <laughs> 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 so, um, In regard to the filing of the communication. Well, okay, so uh, just as a... Uh, for information purposes, right? Yeah. My recollection was was that uh, we're the only county that has this provision that that uh, calls for courteous, fair, and impartial treatment. So now we're um, by this amendment, this board is refining that to uh, so to stress the underlying dignity of all human beings. So, so so that I'm clear by adding the word with dignity that um, expands. The responsibility increases the responsibility, right, of yeah. of the yeah. uh, county and uh, yeah. employees and yeah. officials. Correct. Yeah. Just on it, right? I mean, that's what we're doing. Yes, my lord. <laughs> no, I'm just asking the question right? <laughs> with dignity. No, I'm not. Yeah. I'm not being. Okay. No. Okay. I'm just curious. All right. We're good. Okay. Filing? Uh, do we still need to? Uh, do yeah. Don't don't need to any further motion or approval. We we just to make sure we, we had a motion to file. Yeah. So right. uh, we gotta have the vote on it. Okay. Okay. So can I call for the question then? All in favor of filing the communication say aye. 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 Any opposed? All right. That motion is carried.